This video will cover using the split file and select cases function. Now what are these? This is where we either group our data set, split file, or select only the data that meets certain conditions, which is select cases. Why do we use these? We may want to compare the results across a coding variable, such as gender or purchase regularity. With such coding variables, we don't want to have too many groups though, as the output will become too convoluted and we may reduce it all the way down to being very small sample sizes within each group where the results don't actually have any reliability or value to them. In this case, grouping variables are usually utilized that are norm nominal or ordinal in nature because of the, the fewer range of scores or groups. So running select cases or split files. To do it, we have to select data up the top. We then move to split file or select cases. Now, not to be confused with split into files. So for select cases, we are only selecting specific cases. So what we need to do is hit data and then select cases down the bottom. We now need to tell SPSS what are the cases we want to select. So we're going to do this by looking at purely males and males that are aged 18. So we've got two conditions. So to do this, we hit if condition is satisfied and if, as you can see, I've already put demographic equals age to put that second condition. And in other words, they need to meet both of these conditions. Now we want to click on gender, which we notice is this one here. We can either double click it or press this button here. Equals, which could also be done via this option. And as we know from gender, males equals two. So now when we hit OK, we'll only be selecting those cases that fit both of those criteria. OK, SPSS, the output view will tell us we've done something with the analysis uh, to the data set, but that's OK. We'll go back to data view. We can see in the variable view and in data view, what we'll now notice is these lines across all of the people that don't meet these conditions. So just to double check, what we should see here is this respondent number nine should meet the criteria of being 18 and a male. If we go down to their gender two, yes, age two, yes. And here we can see here, so we know it has worked. Someone who's 18 but is a female has not been selected. So that way we're now analyzing it with only those cases. So if we were to run some output, we would only see it, uh, the results would only apply to those people that fit those conditions. For all of those who don't, then the data will not be analyzed at all. Now we're gonna turn this one off because we actually now wanna run back and analyze all of them. So to turn that off, we just go back to all cases, okay, and we'll notice SPS will tell us we've now executed something to the data, but we're back to the original view. Now we're gonna look at split file. So the common approach when it comes to split file is organizing output by groups. So selecting this third option. So note the option down the bottom that is selected sort the file by grouping variables. Our data set will now be ordered by the grouping variable. Again, this doesn't change the results of the data at all, um, the data that's in the data set. But when you look at your data set, it, it's going to be in a different order now because it's going to reorder that data set um, based upon the output, based upon the variable that we impose here. This is why I always have a variable at the beginning of my data set, at the left column, the very left column in data view, that's something along the lines of respondent number. Um, and you'll notice I've done it with this one. And what this does is it actually um, has a, a organ it allows you to organize the data set again via the respondent number. So when we originally put this data in, we could have had it set at respondent number one and just sorted it ascending or descending rather, um, and then allows us to keep coming back to that original order every time just by re uh, sorting the, the column via respondent number descending. So, with split file, we need to turn it on when we want it and off when we don't, same as select cases. So we need to return our data analysis to normal if we want to analyze all of the data sets. And we do that by going analyze all cases, do not create groups. When we want to compare groups, we'll select that third option and drag it into the box with what variable we want to use as our grouping or coding variables. In this case, we're going to organize our output on the coding variable of purchase history. So what we want to see is the purchase history varying across primary pet owners. So we'll, sorry, we'll select primary pet as our grouping variable and purchase history will be the variable we'll analyze. So same thing, bring that one over. 
We're now going to run the analysis um, and we'll do in this case a frequency test of purchase history but it's going to show us the output grouped three times based upon each of those three primary, pre primary pet groups. Analyze descriptives, frequency, we'll have to move this back because we only now want to analyze primary pet and we can do the same output analysis that we did before. What we'll notice though is that we've now got it for three groups. So there'll be three tables for each of these. Now the way we can tell which group it is, it's by this part here, the equals on the end being equals one, in other words, dogs. And then also down the bottom of each table, we'll have equals on the end as well. And that's why it's really important we label our variables correctly, because that's where we actually then can determine which one they are. Now we could then copy this information into Excel and have a table with three different columns for each of our different primary pet owner groups for their purchase history. Now we do have to remember to turn split file off if we no longer want to run it in that way. Now something that's really important is creating new coding variables. So I'll create a video after this to show us how we can actually create coding variables rather than using the existing ones that we have.